Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you two possible ways to fix the problem of access is denied when trying to run the boot rec fix boot command in Windows. This command is normally used to fix a number of startup problems you might be having in Windows. Problems like Windows failed to start, a recent hardware or software change might be the cause, blue screen of death that says your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart, black screen on startup, missing boot device, etc. The bootrec command rebuilds the boot configuration data file, that's the BCD, in cases where this file is either missing, corrupt, or isn't properly configured. This is why the bootrec command is quite important. But what do you do if the bootrec denies you access to some command extensions like the fixed boot command in the case of this laptop? Well, in this video, I'll be demonstrating two possible ways to solve this problem. And without further ado, let's get right to it. The first method is to recreate the EFI directory structure and reconfigure the boot file using the bcd boot command. To do that, on the terminal where you got the access is denied error, type the command disk path and hit enter. Wait till you see the disk path prompt, then type the command list disk as shown on the screen and hit enter. Now this should display all the disks you have currently attached to your PC. Now you want to select the disk where you have your Windows files. Normally it's the disk 0. Disk 1 in my case is my USB. So here I will type select disk 0 and hit enter. It should say disk 0 is the selected disk. Now type list vol as shown on the screen and hit enter. This should display the volumes you have in all the disks attached to your PC. Now here you need to select the volume with your system reserved partition. Yours might be combined to the partition with your Windows operating system. In my case, it's clearly defined as system reserved, which is my volume 1. This is where I have the EFI directory. Here I will type the command select vol1 as shown on the screen and hit enter. It should say volume 1 is the selected volume. Now I will assign another letter to this volume. You can choose any letter you want, but note that some letters are reserved by Windows and others like this FCED in my case are already in use, so I have to use some other letters. Here I will use the letter V, so I will type the command assign letter equals V column and hit enter. It should say disk part successfully assigned the drive later. Now type exit and hit enter. This should close the disk part session. Then type V, column, and hit enter. This should take you to the V volume. Here type the command MD, space, backward slash, EFI, backward slash, Microsoft, backward slash, boot, backward slash, and hit enter. Now type the command CD, space, forward slash, D, space, V, column, backward slash, EFI, backward slash, Microsoft, backward slash, boot, backward slash, as shown on the screen, and hit enter. Then type boot rec, space, forward slash, fix boot, and hit enter. It should say the operation completed successfully. After that, type BCD boot as shown on the screen, space C colon backward slash Windows space forward slash L space EN dash US space forward slash s space v column space f space all as shown on the screen and hit enter it should again say the operation completed successfully now type exit and hit enter to close the terminal it should bring you back to this page and from here, if you go back to the command line terminal, 
you should be able to run the bootrec fix boot command successfully without errors. Now if for some reason this doesn't work for you, then you can follow the second approach to fix this problem. Now there has been several reports that this error is peculiar to the later Windows 10 install media like the build 1709 and the latest build 1803 install media. So running the same command using an earlier version like build 1703 will not cause this error. Unfortunately, if you try to use the media creation tool from Microsoft official download page, you will end up with the latest build which is the 1803 in your USB stick. So for this second fix, I will show you how you can still configure your USB with the 1703 build in order to run the bootrec command without errors. By the way, this process will not downgrade your Windows from 1803 to 1703. It only provides you the command line terminal from the 1703 build from where you can now run your bootrec commands without errors. To do that, you will need a USB stick which is at least 8GB in size and has no files in it. Then using the disk management tool, mark the USB stick as active. To do that, attach your USB stick to the PC. Again, ensure you have no files in it. You can choose to format it in case you have some initial configurations on it. Of course, you don't have to do this if you already formatted your USB. But if you are yet to format, then I recommend you use the disk part tool. For that, you go to your search and type disk part. Then click on disk part from the search result. Click yes on the user account control. Then on this terminal, type the command list disk. Then it lists all the disks you have attached to your PC. Then check and see which of the disks is your USB. As you can see, my disk one here is the USB. So I will type select disk one and hit enter. Then type clean, hit enter. And then it automatically formats and cleans up your drive. Now from the start menu, right click and select disk management. Then your disk management tool should pop up. Here you locate your USB stick. As you can see here is equally disk one. Now right click on it and select new simple volume. Then on this wizard just hit next, next, next until you see finish. Then wait a bit for the system to format your USB. Afterwards, you should see this folder pop up, an empty folder from your USB. Then right click on it and select Mac Partition as active. Now go to the description of this video. I have provided a direct download link to Windows 10 build 1703 media files. Simply download and copy these files to your USB and you should have a bootable USB with Windows 10 build 1703 installation files. Now you can use this USB to repair any version of Windows you might be having problems with. The installation media in the link below has both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. So you can choose on startup which of the editions you want to run. Of course, this is quite a heavy file, about 6GB in size, so you should ensure you have good internet connection before proceeding with this download. Hope one of these is able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.